So for today's day in my life with schizophrenia, we're going to be talking about why we should normalize schizophrenia because a lot of my videos recently have been about how schizophrenia has been normal, how there's a lot of people with schizophrenia, and then there's been some videos about how schizophrenia is not normal and how there's some other odd kind of things about schizophrenia. So we're going to be talking about why we should normalize schizophrenia. I'm using these everyday chores that I'm doing to show that I'm not this big, bad, scary guy that some people make me out to seem. A lot of people think that people with schizophrenia should be locked up in a mental hospital. They should be in prison. They should be just out of the public's eye. But like, I just, I want to show people that people with schizophrenia are just, they're normal people. Like they're not harmful. They're not dangerous. They're not loose cannon. People with schizophrenia should be normalized because like, even though schizophrenia is not the most common thing in life, it's still common in a way because one in every couple hundred people get schizophrenia. Like I don't even have anyone in my family that has schizophrenia. So it was kind of out of the blue when I was diagnosed with it. Like I personally think I was diagnosed with schizophrenia because I've had several concussions, like pretty big concussions. And, but like no one in my family has schizophrenia. It doesn't run in the family. So like it was completely out of the blue. So I, I think we should normalize it because you never know who is going to end up with schizophrenia. And speaking of schizophrenia running in families, if I were to ever have a kid, I'd most likely pass on the schizophrenia gene to that kid. And like, I wouldn't just be passing down schizophrenia to that kid. I'd also be passing down them being a little bit of an outcast because like after I started having schizophrenia, I started to become a little bit of an outcast. So like we need to change that to where people with schizophrenia are a little bit more accepted. Because I know when I was first diagnosed with schizophrenia, people would just kind of like ditch me and just stop talking to me because I was having delusions, I was having hallucinations, like people just stopped wanting to be around me because I was acting a little bit different. Like sure, not everyone knew I had schizophrenia, but like a lot of people, they saw I was acting a little bit different. So they just, they just stopped talking to me. They just stopped wanting to be around me. And like people need to stop being like that. People need to just start like finding out what is wrong with someone before they just ditch them out of their lives forever. Because I think if schizophrenia was normalized and people knew the signs of schizophrenia, I could have got diagnosed a lot sooner. I think teachers would have picked up on signs I think people at school would have realized what was going on because like my teachers, they just kind of like pushed me aside. They just stopped caring about me because I was a really good student at the start of high school and I started slipping through the cracks towards the end of high school. And I started not doing good. I started failing tests. I started not turning in homework. I just started, I started not doing good. And I think, I think there were signs that something was going on long before I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Personally, I think a lot of people just didn't know the signs of schizophrenia. They didn't know the signs that some of them were wrong. So they couldn't help me in any way, shape or form because all they see is what's in the media. They see what's in social media. They see what's on TV. Just they, they see stuff that like, isn't factual because like when I was going through rough times in high school with my schizophrenia to start off, I would either just like kind of sit there and just be staring off in the space, listening to the voices, or I would just kind of say things that weren't quite right. They just weren't quite there. Like I'll just say things that because I would have a conversation with someone in my head, long story short, I was doing stuff, not quite right. Just a little bit off. For quite some time before I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. If you want me to go more in depth about the start of my schizophrenia journey, comment down below that you want to see that. But back to the topic, I think if people were to see the correct stuff about schizophrenia in the media, things would be a whole lot better. And I hate the way the media portrays people with schizophrenia because you never hear about people with schizophrenia doing anything good. You never hear about them overcoming the odds and doing anything good. It's always, they've done something really bad. They've always done horrendous things. I personally think it's because most people with schizophrenia just go about their everyday lives. They take their medication and they just live normal lives. But you never hear about people with schizophrenia doing anything good. It's always people with schizophrenia equal bad. And I just wish with these YouTube videos I make, I could change one, two, ten people's minds that people with schizophrenia are dangerous because like people with schizophrenia are not dangerous. Like they're normal people. Like we should normalize what people with schizophrenia have because like I know people in the comments are going to be like people with schizophrenia are not normal. It's not normal to hallucinate. But like you got people who want to hallucinate with drugs and like hallucinogenics. Like you have people who want to do that. And like, and then you have people struggling to not do it. And like people who are taking medications to not hallucinate. So like we should normalize it because like, because I'm not trying to get political here or anything, but like, it is a fact that there are a lot of people who do drugs and a lot of those people who do drugs try to hallucinate. And so like a lot of people in this world want to hallucinate. So like, why can't we normalize the people who are trying to not hallucinate? Like it's all backwards. Like it's more okay for people. It seems like it seems like it's more okay for people to hallucinate because of drugs than it is to hallucinate because of just like other circumstances. Sometimes you mention about schizophrenia is the homeless problem. Like I know not all people that are homeless have schizophrenia. I get it. 
But like in my case, if I didn't have the support system that I have right now, I would be homeless because of my schizophrenia. Just I would probably just go hallucinate and just go run off and just go be hallucinating doing something or whatever. I've been blessed with a family who's not scared of schizophrenia and they've given me plenty of access to doctors, medications, just everything I need for a healthy life. But that's all I got for this one. Make sure to subscribe if you liked what you saw and thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.